بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹلمین السلام علیکم ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس کمیونیکیشن ود ان نیورون بیفور دس لیکچر وی ہیو ڈسکس کمیونیکیشن بٹوین نیورون ان کمیونیکیشن بٹوین نیورون وی ڈسکس دیٹ ہاؤ انفارمیشن ٹریول فرام پری سائنپٹک نیورون ٹو پوسٹ سائنپٹک نیورون through synaptic gap or synaptic cleft or simply synapses. In this lecture, we will see that how information travel from cell body to terminal buttons through exons. What process occur within the exon for taking information from cell body to the terminal buttons so let's start when electrical impulse travel from cell body to terminal button through axon this is called communication with in neuron process of communication with in neuron consists of four stage model first is first stage is called resting potential second depolarization third action potential and fourth and last one is hyperpolarization in the process of communication within neuron charged ions for example sodium chloride and potassium play an important role in information transmission from cell body to terminal buttons in first stage which is called resting potential this one you can see on your screen resting potential this is the first stage at this stage the charge will be minus 70 millivolts at this stage cell membrane possesses positive charge outside of the membrane and negative charge inside of the membrane if you observe this stage this one this is resting potential stage and this is resting potential area this is cell membrane outside of the cell membrane is positive charge and inside of the cell membrane is negative charge outside of the cell membrane sodium ions exist inside of the cell membrane potassium chloride and other ions exist a slight movement i am discussing the resting potential stage in resting potential stage a slight movement of sodium potassium and chloride and other ions remain continue across the membrane in the absence of any stimulus through leakage channels when cell or neuron will be on resting potential resting stage the charge will be minus 70 millivolt and outside of the membrane will be the positive charge and inside of the membrane will be the negative charge what will happen this in the absence of any stimulus in the absence of any stimulus when neuron will be at resting position when neuron will be at resting position uh, position the charge will be minus 70 millivolt and when we will see the cell membrane so outside of the cell membrane will be the positive charge and inside of the cell membrane will be negative charge when a stimulus comes now stimulus now i am talking about the occurrence of the stimulus when stimulus comes what will be happen inside and outside of the cell membrane and what will be uh, uh, change what will change occur in this graph <clears throat> so when stimulus comes sodium start to move inside of the cell membrane this is sodium basically okay or uh, this sodium uh, will start to come inside of the membrane what will happen if will so uh, when sodium start will inside of uh, start to move inside of the membrane definitely 
outside of the cell membrane positive charge will be decrease start to decrease why because sodium due to the sodium outside of the membrane that will be the positive charge and when sodium ions start to enter inside of the membrane definitely due to the decreased amount of the sodium ions outside of the cell membrane outside of the cell membrane positive charge will definitely tend to going toward decrease and inside of the membrane negative charge will be start to decrease and uh, it will be replaced with the positive charge why because sodium ion coming inside of the membrane and sodium ion have positive charge that's why inside of the membrane start to uh, increase the positive charge due to the movement of the sodium and negative charge of the inside of the membrane start to decrease and reach at minus millivolt 50 millivolts when sodium start to move inside of the membrane this line will start to increase and reach the here at this stage you can see that charge minus charge decreased and reached at minus 55 when sodium ions start to move inside of the membrane because sodium ions possesses positive charge that's why we are and uh, sodium ions coming inside of the membrane that's why here due to the positive charge coming the negative charge will tend to decrease here and charge and position of the uh, charge will be minus 55 millivolt when charge reaches at minus 50 threshold an electrical impulse produced when charge reached at here minus 50 or 55 an action potential occur electrical impulse produced and suddenly neuron will fire when neuron will fire <clears throat> this is called action potential during the process of action potential cell membrane become tend to depolarize here now cell membrane become to depolarize depolarize means inside of the membrane will be the positive charge and outside of the membrane will be the negative charge why because inside sodium ions rush inside of the membrane here when stimulus exist sodium gets open and sodium ions rush inside of the membrane that's why uh, due to the entrance of the sodium ions inside of the membrane inside of the membrane charge will be the uh, converted into positive and due to the lackage of sodium ions outside the outside of the membrane will be uh, uh, as a result in negative charge outside of the membrane this is called depolarization when a cell membrane depolarized at that time negative charge of inside of the cell membrane rapidly decrease and reach as plus 30 millivolt now that was here minus 70 then it's reached minus 55 and then sodium ion then stimulus comes and sodium ion rush inside of the membrane and neuron fired and the charge reach as plus 30 millivolt this is the peak point of the action potential spike after reaching at plus 30 millivolt sodium gate closed now this one here here sodium gate closed and no more sodium ions can enter inside of the membrane why because sodium gates has been closed sodium gates has have been closed that's why no sodium ion can enter inside of the membrane and at that time potassium gets open and k ions rush outside of the membrane when charge reach as plus 30 sodium gates closed and potassium gates open when potassium gates open potassium has also positive charge so potassium will tend to move outside of the membrane when positive charge when potassium have positive charge uh, and potassium ion move outside of the membrane outside of the membrane will be again become positively charged why due to the 
existence of the due to the movement of the potassium ion from inside of the membrane to the outside of the membrane <clears throat> okay after reaching plus 30 millivolts sodium gate closed and potassium gates open and potassium ions rush outside of the membrane and charge of outside of the cell membrane going to change from negative to positive at that time spike travel to downward here now spike is coming back why because sodium gate closed here this is the peak point of action potential at plus 30 at that point sodium gate closed and uh, no one sodium ion will enter from outside to the inside of the membrane at that time when sodium gate closed potassium gate opens and potassium will move from inside of the membrane to the outside of the membrane that's why outside of the membrane the negative charge will start to replace with the positive charge due to this reason cell start to repolarization first stage that was the second that depolarization and now because the process is going to reverse again and now because charges original ch cell is going to maintain or attain the original position original position that's why when sodium gate closed and potassium gate open potassium ions rush out to move outside of the membrane from the inside of the membrane and outside of the membrane charge start to replace itself from uh, negative to positive and the spike is coming backward this is called repolarization start uh, neuron is again going to repolarized situation <clears throat> okay ji at that time spike travel to downward which ultimately change the charge of inside of the membrane from positive to negative even with in a fraction of time charge outside of the membrane reached at uh, sorry charge inside of the membrane reached at minus 70 millivolt again this stage is called hyperpolarization even the charge inside of the membrane when the repolarization occur spike is coming back you can see on your screen at that point charge decreased more than minus 70 and when charge decreased more than minus 70 this is called hyperpolarization this is the advanced state of the polarization uh, resting potential this is hyperpolarization and this is the whole process of communication between neuron and this process again uh, repeat itself again and again and again and then information move from cell body to the terminal buttons and this is called communication with a neuron hope you understand this lecture inshallah in next lecture we will dis uh, discuss a further topic thank you very much Take care. Stay blessed. Allah Hafiz.